the coast of Sardinia, this spot is a well-kept secret. Agostino Cerchi is on guard to protect his little piece of paradise, because what he collects at the bottom of the ocean is worth its weight in gold. Red coral, an incredibly profitable but also dangerous treasure to extract. Many fishermen die while diving. There's no room for mistakes. You also have to be careful with your lifestyle. You can't drink or smoke. It's currently peak season. Red coral is only fished four months a year to avoid overexploitation. Equipped with an axe, Agostino only collects adult pieces because the corals take their time to flourish. They only grow one centimeter every 10 years. Its scarcity is what makes the coral so valuable. I have a kilo, a kilo and a half. It's worth about 1,300 to 1,500 euros. For fishermen, red coral is gold. After a successful excursion, the fishermen head back to Alguero in northwestern Sardinia, the red coral capital. Since antiquity, the seaside town has made its money from the treasure of the sea. Dozens of artisans here transform the precious material into works of art. This is one of my most beautiful necklaces. The pearls are 12 millimeters in diameter. They are, of course, very high quality. The clasp is made of coral and gold. It costs 36,000 euros. Carmela is one of the most reputable creators in town. Her small atelier is located at the back of the shop. The creative process is long, meticulous, and requires surgical precision. Before you start, you need to have a clear idea of what you want the finished sculpture to look like. It takes two days to make a cherub like this. But the art is in danger, as some shops are selling counterfeits. These products look appealing to consumers and their wallets, but the signs are misleading. Vero corallo, true corals. They're made from a bleached coral called bamboo, which has no value and is imported from China. The manager of this souvenir shop doesn't see the problem. We have Sardinian coral, but as it's a luxury product, we put it in the windows at the back. We're not going to display it too much. Everything you see are souvenirs. They're not made from the same coral, and this is evident when you look at the price. A small bracelet costs three euros. Vito Torres, the president of Alguero's Artisan Association, does not agree. How do you expect a tourist to understand the difference? It's not easy. An expert can see it straight away, and even then, for the smallest objects, it's not obvious. If you sell bamboo coral, you have to put it aside and say that it is treated and coloured elsewhere. Local artisans have created a label to protect the treasure. And fishermen, like Agostino, are not allowed to sell the red coral outside of this seaside town.